What's up, LA Live Gang? This is your boy AC, and I'm back with another late night edition of LA Sports Live. You guys see that thumbnail, you see the title. Fresh off the All Star break, the LA Lakers will be back in action tomorrow night against the Indiana Pacers and the King, LeBron James, the 2020. NBA Finals MVP says he says man it's go time um, we all know that look we, we, we remember his comments at the beginning of the season you know some people you know probably didn't take him serious how he said he was going to cherry pick the whole first half of the season and he did and um, but you know we're, we're you know we're past all star break we're past the halfway of the season and now LeBron is saying it's go time um, the Lakers will take the floor again like I said for the first time since the all star break tomorrow night versus the Indiana, Indiana Pacers the Lakers um, head into this game um, currently in third place in the Pacific Division and with a record of 24 and 13 now. The team did, um, you know, for the most part, with the exception of LeBron, they pretty much, the rest of the team was able to get some rest over the All-Star break. But coming into the game um, tomorrow, we still got some issues. Um, Anthony Davis and Marcus Saul will, you know, are both listed out. Um, we know AD's issue and uh, Mark Casal is still in the contact tracing and all that other kind of mess. So they will both, both be out tomorrow. So the Lakers will be without both of their big men. Um, we also still have some other nagging injuries going on with the team. Uh, AC Fresh, the White Mamba, he's still dealing with uh, neck spasms. Um, uh, Duds and Coos are dealing with uh, knee contusions, and the kid from Phoenix, Damian Jones, he stood um, dealing with a sore back. And by the way, the Lakers signed him to a second ten-day contract. But, um, but other than that, uh, those guys are all still they're all listed as probable probable for tomorrow night. But like I said, for sure, AD and Gasol will be out. So um, the Lakers still going to go into the game a little shorthanded, still going to go in a little bit nicked up. But like LeBron says, go time. Uh, I'm going to take that with a grain of salt because, uh, you know, we're still, you know, he's saying it's go time. But, you know, he, he reserves the last and final gear for the playoffs. So, you know, that should be the overall goal for the Lakers to enter the NBA playoffs at full steam. Then, um, you know, we'll see what we got. Um, unlike last year, I think Rob is going to make a move at the trade deadline. I'm not sure what it's going to be, but this year I feel like things are a little bit different. So, you know, if the Lakers do need, you know, if they do decide to make a move, you know, the team is going to have to come together, gel a little bit more, and, uh, you know, so we can make that you know, uh, playoff push and so everybody can be on one accord. So we'll see how things go. Uh, we'll see how tomorrow, see how they uh, start the second half. But uh, hey, when the Kings say it, it says it's go time. Hey, that means it's go time. Anyway, this is your boy, AC, LA Sports Live. You guys do me a favor. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. It really helps the channel out. I really appreciate it. And I will wrap with you all later.